Good morning. Welcome to Be Cloud When It Hits the Fan podcast series. Our first series will be with Miss Tanisha Wells. I am Farron Burkett, um, business development consultant with Be Cloud. So, Miss Wells, um, let us let me tell you a little bit about Be Cloud. Um, so, Be Cloud is a IT management company. Um, they are the AWS and they are AWS certified partner, the only one in the state of Mississippi. Um, so we are going to be speaking with different corporations, um, corporate officers like yourself, and trying to get a good feel of what's going on in the IT world with each of these companies. So these podcast series will just be a collaborative um, place of knowledge, wealth, um, for people to talk about what's going on in their workplaces. So tell me a little bit about yourself, and okay. then we'll jump right into what's going on with Lowe's. Well, my name is Tanisha Wells. I'm a talent acquisition partner for Los Companies. Um, actually, just recently promoted to a corporate recruiter. Um, so, basically, a little bit about my role. I am in the field arena space. So, everything I do is basically virtually. I travel throughout the 2,700 stores throughout the enterprise, um, including Canada. A lot of individuals do not know that we have Los Canada as well and Los India. Um, oh, so, wow. we do have those um, opportunities of career space for candidates that choose um, sponsorships as well as visa sponsorships, interns, and things of that nature. But prior to Lowe's, I was 15 years in the hotel industry as a finance and audit for Hilton Corporation. Um, once I figured that didn't have the love for trying to find that penny, I end up going into the HR space arena, was recruited by Lowe's, and mm-hmm. then came over, was an HR manager for three years in a box, then promoted to field TA, and now promoted to corporate TA. So my ideal role would be responsible for uh, vice presidents, directors, board, compensation, analysts, um, HR directors, etc. So I'll no longer assist the field from a store perspective. Uh-huh. Um, I'll be strictly corporate arena side. Oh, wow. And you are also a Lowe's brand ambassador, right? Yes. So I'm a Lowe's brand ambassador. So <coughs> I handle most of all of their media content, um, my network following base throughout LinkedIn, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook is um, tremendously huge. Once I started Lowe's um, back in 2017, I immediately went into that space. Um, Coming from being a military dependent, I also became a military branding champion. Um, So for the state of Mississippi, I hold that space if it's anything dealing with any type of workforce relations. Uh-huh. Um, shout out to General Bulls. They call on those companies first before calling on the competition. Um, <laughs> we do not acknowledge who the competition is. We just know that they would not be at any type of military event in the state of Mississippi. Oh, wow. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> um, so, do you feel like the industry is in a state of digital transformation? Um, what are the trending technologies that's going on in Lowe's right now? We saw, we were just talking about the 3D um, home design that Lowe's has. So tell us about what's going on with that. So from a digital transformation, we learned back in 2018 during Black Friday, um, prior to my CEO, Marvin Ellison, um, Lowe's was running off technology that was um, back still in 1990s. All of our software from Mm -hmm. in-store, our POS systems, all of that was old. If anybody remember the IBM type computers Mm -hmm. where you touch base, this is what we really used to um, ring up our customers. Um, Technology has changed. So what we had to do was invest in true technology on what um, Zen Mm -hmm. and the Millenniums and go with time. So once we invested um, in the technology in 2018, because we had a crash on Black Friday, all of the things that we was trying to do in the space and time, immediately Black Friday, when we opened our doors at 6 a.m., we was down. So we missed sales for a good two hours due to technology. 
at that point, the team put in millions of dollars to invest. Uh, we ended up finding the right IT representative uh, that came from another company. And immediately, Samaya got to work. We invested millions of dollars in our IT. We mm-hmm. revamped Los India, we revamped uh, Canada, and then just got to work. And what that d- ended up transcribing for us is really true profit. Uh, individuals was able to see that hey their Lowe's iPhone um, that we also purchase mm-hmm. we can do everything now in portable and store I can check out a customer in store by Lowe's phone I can take you throughout wow. the store and find what you need by a Lowe's phone but not only that if a customer is on even an Android or an iPhone they can also maneuver through our stores like a Google map so when they go into our Lowe's app it tells them that they can go to aisle 3 and find that green Real sitting mm-hmm. in Bay 52 without really needing to find the actual associate and say, can you tell me where the grills are? You can truly adapt. So we kind of teach and learn our customers. But from a design standpoint, all of our customer service associates that work virtually from home from in the design space, uh-huh. we put together where when you call in and you're looking to do a project, that's one of our words when you're coming into the store, what project are you working on? So if you're calling in and asking, hey, I'm getting ready to do a whole remodel and I'm looking for this type of door if you have access to your phone you can literally go into cyber world and make your design push it and touch it and we will receive the prints and already get ready to start building for you Um, so with technology what happened for us just in 2019 all the way up through the pandemic hitting Mm -hmm. um, we truly profit from this Uh, we couldn't find associates enough just like anybody else out here (laughs) to be able to you know really service the need right um, a lot of our customers are out side around mm-hmm. spring um, if anybody doesn't know they think that hey holiday time for Lowe's and home improvement business is always in November through December well for us our Christmas time is spring this is where we make our money at we make our money starting in March all the way to August because that's when we call it's our hundred days of hell it is everybody's out in the garden Mm -hmm. everybody is growing everybody's doing paintings the builders and things of that nature so that's where we typically focus on the most Um, so money is made there we hire tremendously we typically try to bring over 20,000 something associates around that time and then convert them over to part-time if they're willing to stay with us throughout Uh or just work a seasonal time Um, so during this transformation time I think we just learned from 2018 Mm -hmm. how we was looked almost as a retailer that's busted Mm -hmm. and then now have grown and be able to now see um, the benefits of our profit now. Oh, awesome. And that's one thing about B Cloud. Um, B Cloud is a cutting edge technology company. Um, so when I saw that on your Lowe's page, I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Our uh, president, James uh, Phipps, I was like, James, look at this. This is amazing. We have to bring Miss Wells in here and let her talk about what's going on with B Cloud. I'm sorry, with Lowe's and share with B Cloud. Um, so, you touched on the digital transformation portion. Um, so let me ask you this. Did you or did your CEO, I know you said that you all brought in a new person. Did you all, the IT person or yourself or any of the board members, did you all have any hesitations about going from, you know, cause obviously that was a comfort zone, you know, with IT, that's why we're calling this podcast when it, IT hits the fan because if the IT isn't working, your whole world is down, you know, mm-hmm. as a company. Um, so did you all have any fears or hesitations about doing this whole digital transformation from the old IBM commu- uh, computers to what you all have now? Yeah, I think it was a lot of hesitation. Um, when Marvin came to us in 2018, uh, one of the biggest things that he said was, I can't believe our stores is running on this type of technology. We will not be able to be successful in, in still market share mm-hmm. without having the technology and moving through time and evolving with time. Okay. Um, so a lot of things was presented us out here in the stores. And I was in the stores at that time, all the all throughout you have day in and day out that I had to have my 
IT person coming into the box, you know, and saying, hey, I'm down. I need this up and running. Mm -hmm. Our systems are down. We're on now what we call quick tickets. If anybody ever, you know, when you're out in in the servers are using pads, Uh typically that means that they're not running on Internet. Anytime you see a business that have pad and pencil, it's because they're not up to time yet to run micros, which Mm -hmm. is a POS system that most restaurants would typically use to check out. Mm -hmm. Um, So we got to the point that hey, when my associates can't clock in and you're missing a dollar, uh, folks are coming to see Tanisha. Hey, (laughs) Miss Wells, I'm missing money on my paycheck or I'm missing my hours. Um, So we, as HR professionals at the time, you know, we have communication directly to the CEO to be able to, you know, email the CEO mailbox and say what we truly need. Mm -hmm. Um, Somalia um, was being looked at for years because of successful, what she has done in previous companies. Um, And then we turned around and budget has to be once, you know, if anybody knows about anything in the business, you have to present a budget and take the budget to the board. The board is going to vote and decide if this truly meets our needs of Mm -hmm. our business or what we're truly doing. Well, yes, because pro um, a lot of those customers like to just come in and grab all of their wood when mm-hmm. it comes to designing we're selling cabinets we sell flooring we sell custom doors windows a lot of those individuals kind of want to see what things look like right uh, want to see swatches and putting things together well we had to get creative to be even with a small competitor because I can go easily to a small competition and sit Uh with someone and get really what I need and maybe have to wait a little bit but then if I can go into a Lowe's box and they can truly design and I have a design truly team that Mm -hmm. is experts in this then our customers start to see okay they're growing in a different direction that we've never seen um But the hesitation that I think we saw was, do we truly really need this? Mm -hmm. You have to be able to showcase the why behind everything that we was doing. Um, When we started discussing roles that we're doing, uh, kind of leading up to COVID, we also had to switch. We looked upon, and I'm also on a a sounding board, Mm -hmm. where here it is, what is going to you think will work? Well, let's look at Google's. Let's look at Meta, which was previous Facebook. Let's look at law firms. They start implementing during COVID work from home. Right. Um, or virtual in the in spaces or remote in spaces. So how would that work in my world um, here at Lowe's when we're home improvement box? Mm-hmm. We needed to be open truly every single day to help the help the customer. Right. Right. A lot of these people got laid off. How do we now go door to door and become a familiar face that individuals just think of us as a retailer? But how do I help other individuals as companies? So I got out as an individual, my team of recruiters as well. We called it business to business. We started knocking at doors that we saw out here in the arena saying they're laying off their employees and we're mm-hmm. offering them to come to work. And when you're able to come back, we let them go back to work. So we wasn't selfish about that because I tell you, I'm greedy. And if I take an employee, I'm keeping an employee. But we was able to knock on the doors. Hilton himself, which is my previous employer, lay off all of their workers because no one was what? Staying in hotels. No one was able to travel. So we offered them jobs. And then when it was time for them to open and the economy opened back up, we allowed those individuals to go back to work if they, you know, wanted to go. Um, and, I, and I think from that, it just showed uh, a lot of employers that, hey, they was truly there for us. Mm-hmm. Um, we met with Nasetta, who is the CEO of Hilton, and saying, hey, let's have a seat at the table and just have a conversation with you and what we can do throughout this um, enterprise. 
for your people that's being laid off. Right. Um, so it became a partnership. Um, and then after that, as we continue to grow and money and we saw profit of coming across our financial statements and earnings, uh, we was able to now get approved for budget of money to be able to put back into the technology that we're using today. Mm-hmm. Um, so now we have a lot of different technologies to help me do my job better, mm-hmm. um, help from a candidate experience as right. well. Um, now I don't have to physically interview someone face to face. I have the technology at this point where individuals can text the interview with me back and forth. Uh, we invested mm-hmm. in that software. Mm-hmm. Um, not only that, we use Microsoft Teams more than anything. Uh-huh. Uh, it was a learning curve because remember, I'm dealing with store managers 20 plus years that all I want to do is see you face to face. Right. I'm not doing an interview, no. <laughs> <laughs> no virtually or no mm-hmm. Zoom as well. How do you even work that? Um, so we had to teach our teams um, how this truly technology work. Um, so I think at that point, Marvin was pleased on the presentation. Mm-hmm. But even with that, how safe is our internet going to be? Remember, we're dealing with personal information. I'm glad you okay. said that. <laughs> I am glad you said that. You actually touched on a couple of things that lead to my next question. So, um, like I said, B Cloud is an IT management uh, consulting company. Uh, We've had so many customers, so many clients throughout COVID that have been attacked with security attacks and like James and the team and his consultants literally are like, hey, hold on, let us do um, an evaluation to see like what you have going on, how can we help? Um, And that's part of digital transformation. Mm -hmm. If they can't go in and do that evaluation, they don't know how, you know, to effectively support our clients and that's been really Really, really huge since COVID again thus this podcast yep. um, just to make sure that people aren't using paper and pencils um, if I go into a clinic or any place and I see people with paper and pencil I'm like oh James we may need to reach out to them yeah. next you know what I'm saying um, and just in this day and time people clients customers we don't like to see that that's right you know I don't want to go in any place and people using paper and pencil to check me in that's correct um your my data is on there my social security number all of this information is on there we need to make sure that it's secure we may need to make sure that you're able to access it like how you were talking about with uh the phones the Lowe's mm-hmm. phones being able to ask technology is amazing um and i love the way that you all are implementing it in Lowe's. that's just phenomenal um super exciting so let me ask you this what advice because you all have a lot going on mm-hmm. with Lowe's. it's so exciting what advice can you give um not even new businesses, but maybe businesses that's been running um, mid to large size. I know you all are international. What advice can you give them that maybe have not made the digital transformation and they're you know, thinking about it, um, they just need that extra push or they're just like, oh, you know, Lowe's is this huge company. What can I do? So what kind of advice can you give to a business owner um, or corporate staff like that? Well, you have to continue to evolve. Mm -hmm. Um, I think individuals need to, one, you must assess the situation. And that's what we was able to do first. We literally had to assess our own situation to see what is not working. Mm -hmm. Um, We had to just change technology. Everything at this point, I mean, I have a son that has been using Mac products before I even, and I'm still Windows. (laughs) Well, our stuff has been moved. So we're teaching individuals who's probably retired from a job twice. Mm -hmm. that you must use these type of projects, but we're teaching them how to use those products. Um, And it's due because of the customer themselves is who good or bad is saying, I can't believe that I can't get on Wi-Fi in your box. Right. So we had to install that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I myself, I want to be able to go into a Starbucks or any now, unfortunately, any type of employer and be able to connect to their internet Mm -hmm. uh, because I think it's the norm. Right, So if you don't have that, then I don't even come to your establishment. (laughs) Right, same. 
Okay. And, and I'm just being <laughs> honest. If the restaurant that I choose to use do not have a Wi-Fi little, I'm sitting at their door. I am not eating there because I'm tr- typically traveling with a laptop. Mm-hmm. Um, so assessing that situation to understand what the business truly needs based off of the customer needs. Mm-hmm. Because at first we was all wired. Mm-hmm. So all of our internet was locked down. We was all wired. So a customer couldn't. So now when they're trying to go on Google, they're sitting there with their phone, like I can't get on the internet to show you what I'm trying to buy. Mm -hmm. Well, we had one that was costing us a lot of complaints. A lot of individuals don't know when we get a customer complaint on a store, that cost me $250 per pop. Oh, wow. Okay, if they have to resolve that for us. So mm-hmm. some of that stuff we need to fix at a level that if this internet, you're hearing that as a leader too many times, this internet, mm-hmm. we need to be running it up. Mm-hmm. That, hey, the new world today is all virtual type arena. The individuals today want to be able to fill out an application through their cell phone. So mm-hmm. we changed that process. No one now has to fill out an application paper. At this point, everything is captured. And then not only that, we call her Lucy. So when you log on to jobs.lows.com, Lucy pops up and start talking to you, autom- you know, in an automation type. Mm-hmm. But that was based off of, you know, generations saying your process too long. The reason I didn't apply because I have to do Takes this. I have to do that. Um, I can go and work at Hobby Lobby and just text a couple of things and they grab my information. <laughs> yep. So me being one that goes undercover, I do it to Amazon a lot because their process is a long process to find their right candidate, but their mm-hmm. process was a great process. Mm-hmm. So listening to different employers, sometimes it's okay to have conversations Conversation, and that's what a lot of individuals take uh, a little bit on the negative side. Networking is the power of today. Absolutely. I will network with anyone mm-hmm. because it's something that that individual can provide me and I can also provide to them. The right. service, regardless if I'm a recruiter or not, but even though they're in the IT world, I might have a connection that that individual could need. Right. So if employers today would just network, mm-hmm. do more networking events, having a seat at the table, having communication of what we truly do in our spaces, mm-hmm. it can then open doors and insight of really this is the person I've been looking for. And then that's what kind of what Somali had did for us that, hey, I went, I searched, here's all of the different technologies. This one was a no-go, sir. Let me tell you why. These companies was not successful with that. They had data breaches. Mm -hmm. This company is way too expensive. But this is where you say I can budget and um, enough for. And then not only that, we can lock it down with my team here in India, where as it goes through the norms to hit into the stores, Mm -hmm. all of our IT representatives literally is on monitor all day it's days that I tell like my team don't play with this data (laughs) don't go looking into something you have no business because we should be trusted advisors so if I'm dealing with you as a client and all of the information that you're sharing with me no one else should know any of that so if I'm in public spaces like airports or any of that I make sure I'm paying attention to my surroundings because if I'm having a conversation zoom and you're talking about hey I work for JCPenney and I'm looking to leave and I make 350 something thousand dollars a year I'm these John right. on the opposite side of me and saying I know where I'm going to let them know so I need to make sure I'm paying attention to surroundings but not only that IT typically pops in through battle all mm-hmm. the time and saying hey you know someone is trying to this and this we blocked that already so that's what I truly love about how secure we've been since we've changed Mm -hmm. prior to that you'll look up and you'll know automatically when your system was 
hidden saying warning, warning, warning. Now you immediately where IT will pop up and say, hey, I just blocked a piece of spam that was coming to you or I'm blocked that external. Do you know this individual? Um, even when I got your invite, uh-huh. it was, hey, I'm getting an external request coming in, coming across your calendar. Please mm-hmm. take a look and see if you want to approve this. And I'm like, yeah, I know this person. OK, so now this person is now in my regular um, contact list. But that's how well within the last year and a half that they continue. And then as we continue to send them to conferences mm-hmm. um, and continue to grow out here, because that's what you need. Mm-hmm. I think you should always try your best to continue to grow in your craft. Oh, I try yeah. to make sure that I'm constantly keeping up with what's happening in a recruiter arena, constantly going to retail conferences because I'm in a retail space. But not only that, Sherm, um, HR, because talent acquisition is part of HR. I need to know the laws and regulations of everything in different states. Remember, mm-hmm. we're 2,700 stores. If I hire someone in California, they can't wait weeks and months for start date. I'm going to be paying them because of their laws. Right. Um, so companies, and not just small businesses, but companies in general really need to assess their whole situation and really move with time. Um, we know that here it is, we no longer use what, Internet Explorer, right? Mm-hmm. If you try to t- do some things with Internet Explorer, it won't even come up. We know it's Microsoft Edge. We know it's Google. Um, Chrome, it's everything we use at Lowe's, it's all in Edge. Mm -hmm. So I can't open up anything in old internet. So if they're not moving with time, I think you'll lose money. Um, Or you'll lose um, clients if there's no money involved. And But if you're a business owner, money's involved. Oh, yes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so uh, two things that you talked about that I want to touch on. Um, so you did mention as um, independent consultants, business owners, uh, especially if you're on a corporate level, even if you're not, we take our computers with us everywhere we go. When you talk about it in the restaurants, every time I go to lunch, if you see me, I'm gonna have my laptop out on my table until my food comes. So um, one thing about that is, so with B Cloud, one of the things that we do, and I wanna hear your um, information about Lowe's, a lot of our clients are able to access and locate their files and their information on our AWS in the cloud, right? Mm -hmm. Um, So they don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, I have a meet coming coming up in another hour and I left my document or I left my folder at my office. I don't, I can't access it. I don't know what to do. So a lot of our clients are now um, coming to us to move to AWS cloud um, and actually love it. Once you get there, you know, you can get it everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can access it, uh, your presentations, any and everything you need is there. So that's one of the good things um, about being able to access all of the company's information in one space um, and not worry about your computer crashing or your computer dying and all of your information is gone, right? Um, And then second thing, um, when you were talking about um, networking, So networking, no matter what industry you are in, networking is huge. Networking is huge. Powerful, powerful. (laughs) Um, So uh, one thing that we implemented um, here in the state of Mississippi, there's not another one. Um, We're doing AWS meetups. So we're having meetups and networking events for companies, um, organizations who are large, huge organizations, those who are business owners, uh, maybe just getting started. So we're having AWS meetups, those are our networking events, and we're having everyone to come so they can meet different business owners, learn about what's going on in, um, in the IT world. No, Like I said, no matter whether you're in the hospitality business, construction, you're gonna need IT, right? That's right. Um, So, and our president is really, really good about being very intentional on those, um, the topics of those events. We actually had an Amazon representative, one of the engineers to come down and uh, lead our first one a few weeks ago. So we're trying to implement more networking and kind of get, 
people, especially here in Mississippi, since there isn't a networking event um, for IT, specifically AWS. Um, so though, that's one of the huge things that we're working on. So I'm glad you talked, you touched on that. And you know, I think it will be exciting for the state. So when I'm in Mooresville or Wicksboro, which is where our true corporate office is, but when I'm traveling mm-hmm. to my regional office, which is in Houston, uh-huh. um, I'm typically in on a Tuesday and it's meetups every week. Oh, wow. And we attend those. Uh-huh. So that's something that really, truly, I I believe that will be good for the state of Mississippi. If we're not having any type of meetups where business owners, entrepreneurs, someone from yeah. a large corporation, small corporation, or a, just a manager on their job to be able to grow. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of individuals just don't understand that uh, unless you really settle, you know, you're settled where you are in your career factor um, and it's fine you're not looking to grow and you just want to be out and be able to be cordial with the individual but if you're looking on how do I get my next jump start Mm -hmm. like you're saying in the IT world meetups is the best thing oh, yeah. because it's someone there can introduce you to someone you really need to know. Yep. Um, and so in Charlotte, when we're there, we just built a tech. We have tech in Charlotte, North Carolina. That was one of our investments last year. All of our tech workers work in the tech building. It's called Lowe's Tech. So we have Lowe's Tech HR, just tech individuals. But what was so designed that I loved about it we put a military facility for transition inside the tech building. So if you're transitioning out of the military, hey, you get to come in. We have resume writers. We have folks there to help you interview prep. Um, And it just helps with where they're trying to go because a Mm -hmm. lot of people don't understand and we get that a lot. I mean, our founder was a war veteran. A lot of people didn't know that. So Mm Carl Buckley was a veteran and this is how Lowe started. So our passion is for the military and that's how I became a military champion with Lowe's. Um, But the meetups is where I meet all of really my networking throughout. Mm -hmm. I'm always invited to something. I just run it back to the business and say, hey, I can go represent present you if you can't go um, from construction from um, I was in Starkville meeting with some seniors coming out of school where hey they're not everyone's not looking to go to college so life after college or job for graduates it's hey I want to be in a skill set immediately I go I have someone that I can probably introduce you guys that have skill set. This is what they're teaching. Yeah. But see, unless you're really truly networking with individuals, you don't know how to refer true talent mm-hmm. off versus someone is saying, hey, because I, I, college is not for me. I'm meeting with a gentleman who's getting ready to graduate from Murrah who's saying, hey, college is not for me. Has he's um, has autism? Mm-hmm. And he's trying to think what I'm gonna do after after high school, but he mentioned what his passion was. So I'm like, okay, who is in my networking database that I can get this graduate this graduate high school graduate who's nervous that no one will accept him because of a disability. Mm-hmm. So I got to tap into that. So when I meet with him this week to understand what he's looking for. And where he wants to go because he wants to work. Mm -hmm. He just figures that college, I don't think college will accept me. And I'm not ready for that yet. So I'm like, okay, I promise that I will get you some contacts and let you make some phone calls. And you will will land your job. Trust me. I'll put my name on the back of that card. These individuals will be talking to you. But Mm -hmm. if we do more of that, um, one, helps the youth saves to you um correction reform i go to mdoc all the time they just had a graduating class i was glad to be able to offer an individual was able to pass background check drug tests and all but this person has learned painting in mdoc in the women's correction center and now she's coming out graduating and have a job at lowe's and madison so it's things like that and that's just networking Mm -hmm. so if you're not networking i'll tell you any employer any entrepreneur small business i don't care if you graphic designer if you 
your um, clothing industry, hospitality, finance, HR, find you a networking partnership Mm -hmm. with any individual. If you're not even um, on LinkedIn, get with someone who can help build you a LinkedIn and start following individuals. I promise you one post saying I'm looking to get into this arena, some individuals can get you connected to the right people. Um, So meetups, I'm all for it. Sign me up when you have them. Almost definitely be there to be able to connect and and just have conversation as well because not only that, it's people in my network and database that is probably looking for someone like them Mm -hmm. out here anyway. And nine out of ten, I might be searching for my next accountant. Mm -hmm. So uh, (laughs) exactly. So it's it's a it's a need need, and this will be something good for the state. Um, I was asked that question just a couple weeks ago. Is it any meetups in your area? And I was like, I haven't seen. Uh, meetups, not from a business perspective. Mm-hmm. You know, yes, I'm on the next door app, but it's not right. for what right. my company is looking to do mm-hmm. um, to be able to get just the state piece. Mm-hmm. Um, we have finally grown from a, um, hitting in our rural areas, you know, down in the Mississippi Delta. Greenville has now picked up, partnered with Benny Thompson and things of that nature. But like I said, it was, again, it was networking mm-hmm. and we was able to help now try to get some of their unemployment moved over. So we went from being in a red in the Mississippi Delta to in a yellow um, with helping get folks back to work. So all of that is just due to networking. That's awesome. Um, And I'm glad you touched on the um, workforce development portion. Mm -hmm. Um, We're really big on economic development, workforce development. Um, Mr. Phipps just created um, B Cloud Institute of Technology. So we also have a school, um, Cloud Institute of Technology, individuals who are interested in careers in IT, you can come with little to no knowledge. Mr. Phipps has created, um, using the Amazon AWS certification course syllabus, a school where you can come through, he'll hire you as an internship, as an intern, I'm sorry, bring you through on the job training right here in this office, let you work, you can go anywhere from no salary to $40,000, second certification, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, all the way up to six figures. That's right. <laughs> right here in Jackson, Mississippi, in the B-Cloud office. Exactly, and a so, lot of people don't know that. So. A lot of people don't know that, and it's just amazing. When he was telling me about all of the ideas and everything that he had for B-Cloud and telling me about the business development, I was like, hey, I am in <laughs> me in count me in um, so it's been a pleasure uh, yes. to work with him um, it was a pleasure to talk with you today um, Lowe's has so much going on Look, I'm so glad growing. you sh- shared that with us we're um, steady steady growing continue to continue to grow um, so much out there in the space that we're in remember home improvement will never go away right if your refrigerator break you got to come see somebody um, <laughs> that is you true. need plumbing you got to go see somebody but we that's one piece of business I knew when I changed um, career fields and went into the home improvement business I was like whoa people gonna continue to build houses yep things gonna continue to break in the home I'm at home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is where I see myself and um, just looking forward to everything that the company and the change that's coming. Um, are we perfect? No. Um, but we're learning from, you know, any mistakes and continue to take all of the feedback that we get from our customers. And not only that, our number one customers are our associates. So if we're not taking care of them, they most definitely are not going to take care of the business. So we want to ensure that we take care of them. So. Awesome. Well, thank you again, yes. and I enjoy talking with you. Uh, absolutely. Rose, Ms. Tanisha Wells, um, and I am Farron Burkett with B Cloud Institute of Technology and B Cloud IT Management Services. Thank you.